Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of Resident Evil 4 Remake. So, what's become of the Amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. Here we are, folks. Welcome to Chapter 10. Ashley has been kidnapped once again, and good thing she left me us three treasures. And by the way, let's do our blue request called Merciless Night. I seek a brave soul willing to dispose of that monstrosity of a knight, but be warned, it is much stronger than the others. He cut down our best with a single strike. Area, Mausoleum. Alright, we're gonna go inside that library first and take out one final rat that we couldn't kill. Oh. Yeah. Yes. That's the way to kill the final rat. But before we go to that mausoleum, I'm going to head to the main library so that I can kill those armadura freaks. on all it does it takes three hits so that they can the kneel now aim for that flaga okay that's one spindle good now we're gonna go up to the secret stairway and use our cubic device By using the cubic device in this area, we get a CQBR assault rifle. Booyah! This is a fully automatic rifle. Its optimal barrel length balances power and weighs for, to allow for accurate shooting. We're going to send the storage from now on. And I got to craft some magnum ammo. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's just kick that base to get more Pesadas. Now we're going to go downstairs. Before we head to the right, let's take out that annoying Armadura. These guys are the ones that attacked Ashley in the last Chapter 9. Hey, hold still. There we go. Not bad, right? No. That's the way to kill that stupid armadura punk. Now pick up his spindle that he dropped. On the second floor of the library, we have to get the uh, treasure after we use the cubic device. That's in the wrong direction. There we go. 
Hope my frames don't drop. Oh, we get a golden lynx. That's a cat creature. And also, we're gonna pull down that ladder. Pull the ladder down. Well, kick it. Time to head back to the library and to the mausoleum so that we can deal with a strong threat. I mean, what in the world happened to Ashley? When who is this right-hand man that Salazar is referring to? I hope you'll find out on the comments, okay, folks? But right now, it's time we go to the uh, mausoleum. The area where Ashley had to deal with these knights and had to pull down the gongs. Well, Ashley had to go in there, and when the knights enter, they went into this blue light so that they're frozen. Kind of feels like Dio using a special move called the world. Or chaos control that Shadow uses. In other words, we gotta deal with three knights. And the golden one is gonna be very annoying. He moves fast so he could slash you. Yep. He does this thrust attack that could shave off health. And the silver ones... Whoa. Out of my way! Oh, come on. Piss off! That hurts. How about some grenade? No? Why did that not work? How about I try a heavy grenade this time? It'll probably help. Ow! Oh, okay, that just kills that parasite. Ow! That really hurts! Gotta pay more attention. Another one down. So that means we get a ruby. Now the revolver. You have to deal with this golden armored monster. Aim for the back. And this dude gets even faster. So that means I should probably craft my weapons. Well, no, not exactly, but actually. I need to heal. Got him. That's right. <laughs> oh, we got more gunpowder after de dealing with all the vases. You know that gold armor reminded me of Sonic and the Black Knight, where Sonic goes super Sonic by using the power of Excalibur so that he could deal with the Dark Queen, like Queen Merlina, who is now possessed by King Arthur's shadow. But yeah, N now then it's time for us to get to the throne room because this is what Louise was talking about. So seriously, what are they going to do to Ashley? Turn her into one of those Plagueis? Those Ganados? I mean, Sackler just injected injected Ashley with the Plaga egg. Oh my god. Oh, and unfortunately, we should go talk to the merchant first so that I can upgrade some stuff. Well, upgrade my weapons to be exact. Yeah, shut up. Okay, I'm going to inlay some gemstones. Okay. Well, for the most part, I could do some... some gemstones. But, yeah. Work pest controls done and more and merciless night is finally done. 
So let's sell the elegant perfume bottle, the butterfly lamp, and the golden links. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna repair my knife and my armor. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You see. I still have some new item come back any time. Yeah, okay. I just upgraded my pistol so that I can deal with more tougher enemies. But yeah. We also made it to chapters 7 through 9. But we're gonna run into a new enemy called those bug monsters. I wonder what they're called. Novistadors. Very annoying. Fucking monsters. <laughs> wow, I love that line. But yeah, as I was saying, those Novistadors are very annoying insects. They're gonna fly around. Oh. Oh god. Did it? Did my game just lag? Is that a glitch or something? What the? What the world? Was that some sort of a glitch on my game or something? Did that thing just go off on me? I have no idea. Whoa. Sound just cut off on me. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see what we got. More gunpowder, more pastatus. So yeah. No time to go look at the window, Leon. Just take a look at that note. Chronicles of Pursuit. July. Two years since my awakening. Master Ramon has bestowed upon me a truly righteous undertaking to improve the flaws of our human form, to seek per per perfection as observed in our arthropodal siblings. To this cause I shall willingly devote my life. January, four years since my awakening, my effort to transfuse the black liquid into the body are at the receipt of success. The womb is the key. A pure soul proves to be a highly malleable and adaptive subject. January, six years since my awakening, I have named these sacred larvae carry in the wombs of the chosen. You two, after my own, they shall carry the prestige of my family name as if I had spawned them on my own flesh. The you two are now close to the size of adult humans, and they continue to feed and multiply. I have successfully created a new species. Master Ramon has recognized my efforts and blessed me with his praise. He has taken to you two, calling them Novistador and meaning the unseen. I've been told that His Holiness Lord Siler himself has also expressed pleasure with my work. What an extraordinary honor this is. I can hardly see the tip of my quill through the tears of joy. His humble servant, Isidro Uriarte Talavera. Wow. Those Novistadors are, are known as the Unseen. I, the bugs are Novistadors, the ones that I'm talking about. Yes, these guys turn pink and white because of their camouflage color but unfortunately we gotta shoot those punks yep that's a lot of Novistadors coming by just so that they could shave off my health and they spit acid at me but you know <laughs> Yeah, these guys, they claw you. They kind of remind me of these bugs that I hated in Resident Evil 5. So, they do fly. The bugs I fought were the Reapers. That's a... That is... That Reaper was an African cockroach. Creature. A, with a virus. The Uroboros virus, that is. Wesker created that monster. Wesker of Tricell, right? I remember Tricell from Resident Evil 5. The one that created the Uroboros virus just so that they could just. He or Wesker can destroy the world. 
But yeah. Anyway, we got ourselves a ruby under the chandelier, and there's another Novisador. They camouflage themselves. They kind of like like chameleons. Wouldn't you know? Well, seriously. Oh, go away. Hey! Knock it off with a missing. Well, the dodging, that is. Yeah, these guys usually drop gems, including sapphire. So use your grenade and kill these annoying and bug assholes. And also kill him. Yeah, this Navistador can easily spot you in this room. Ah, uh, good thing we picked up that heavy grenade. <laughs> now we're gonna pull the lever down so that all of the gates will open. And this leads to a bridge. Well, I wonder where, where does this lead to? Probably a throne room, regardless. Hey, what the, what's in there? Ah, uh, nothing. Nose itches. Ah, uh, don't worry about that crate, just focus. <sighs> Apparently, we got more of these Navistadors coming to shave your health off with their acid breath. Well, they throw, they peep acid at you. Because you know why I hate acid? They burn your skin. I remember that death animation of Resident Evil 4. When Leon got killed by the acid throw up and his face literally melted. Well, it showed his eyeball and skull. No doubt. But yeah. Anyway, we should probably unlock that door from the other side so that it would help. Got another spinel. Okay, seriously, let's deal with that annoying Navistador on the ceiling. Yeah, bugs do climb up on the ceiling. These guys are worse than flies, wasps, and cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. They're annoying. Bunch of punks. Anyway, we open this red treasure so that we get the Ornit Beetle. Booyah! Oh, wow. Where is that annoying bug bastard coming from? Next. Yeah, next. Okay, apparently get up on that ladder. Piss off! I was climbing on that ladder, you idiot! Good grief. That hurt! I definitely need to climb up. Why are there so many annoying Navistadors coming to shave the, the living crap out of my health? Oh, where did you come from? You're even worse than wasps. Well, wasps are worse. I hate wasps. Because of their buzzing. Has anybody ever hated wasps? If you ever hate wasps, tell me on the comments. Alright, we open up this gate so that we can enter. Well, escape out of there, which leads to the throne room. I had a, a bee sting, a wasp, well, a wasp sting ever since I was six years old, because I was just messing with it. Then I got knocked out. But, yeah. In other words, my mother got stung by a wasp, too. It was horrible. But regardless. Yeah. Anyway, folks, we have to destroy two weights so that the drawbridge 
is fully dropped. Booyah! Come on! Why don't you f just freaking reload? Come on, reload, please. That's another way to get more handgun ammo. Now then, when we go into this room, let's see what happens. Novist, those aren't Novista doors, those are Gower doors. It's two annoying punks over there that could claw me. I hate those guys with a burning passion, but you know. And we got Zealots. And good thing we got a bell so that we could distract these Garadors. The one in the mask kind of reminds me of Bastille from One Piece. Yeah, I remember him. I bet you Bastille is one of the Vice Admirals from One Piece. And we got ourselves a Ruby. Nice. Hey, good thing they dropped Rubies. Yeah, the second plaga I was talking about last time were called Mandibola. The Mandibolas. But you know what I'm saying. Those things, those weird looking freaks. Freaky parasites that can bite off victims' heads instantly. Get off me. Stop shaving off my friggin' health. And no, I don't need the knife. I'm going to use my... I'm going to actually do this the normal way. Yeah, that challenge, you, killing that Gowardor by using knife only, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with. But, you know. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Good thing he also killed one of these zealots. If you ring the bell, the Gowardar will go over there and attack it. So that his claws can be stuck. Come on. Come on, big man. Are you going to do your stupid little, little tactic or do you, I'm going to have to go up there and kill you? Out of focus. There he is. Now he's gonna claw me. Who is he? Wolverine from X Men? Or Captain Coral from One Piece? Haha! -ha. Goodbye, stupid Gowardors. And when we defeat these two, we get Unicorn Horn. But unfortunately, I, I have to, I have to kill that guy first. And also. Kill all the other enemies first so that they don't distract me. But yeah, Unicorn Horn, excellent. Anyways, uh, definitely break all those vases to get more items. Even your health and some ammo. But you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the heavy grenade takes up two spaces. Hmm. 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 What am I going to do with this one? Reloaded. Of course. Of course, we're gonna go put the unicorn horns onto the unicorn's cranium, the unicorn statue cranium, so that this iron door opens up. Ashley! Leon! 
Ew. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're in the... the depths! Right now! He said, hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Whoa. What a bad pun. But, you know. Anyway, we are at the depths. With there's full of corpses and spikes here. Give up the ghost, huh? Okay. All good. Now we can go. Talk about sticking the landing. <laughs> Talk about sticking the landing. <laughs> what? What in the world, Leon? Because they are so full of spikes here. That's what. But basically, there's going to be enemies that are going to ambush you underwater. So, pay attention to those guys. Those bugs, I think one of them are called Navistadors. I know. They're going to jump out of the water and attack you. So pay attention to them when you see them. When you see their glowing eyes, definitely shoot them. Gotcha, you annoying bastard. They don't explode. What the heck? But you know, they don't explode. Well, when they're not out of the water, when they're not in the water, they do explode. Well, literally they do. They explode in the greed guts. And we got more Novistadors to worry about. So I'd pay attention if I were you, Leon. Oh god. There you are. Oh, th there you are too. What another good way to kick your asses. Yikes! You almost... You almost hit me! And yet, there are fishes that we gotta pick up. And by selling them, that's for sure. Is there another one here? No, seriously, is there another fish here? Got, got them. They're done like dinner. When we go into this dungeon, we're gonna pick up this note. 
Prisoner's note. Another one dead. How long has it been since I was thrown down here? The meager scraps of food provided in the beginning and are gone, and they don't give us more. The pains of hunger are, are, and thirst are unbearable. Most have resorted to drinking the black water. The one to, the first to turn was Herminio. He was so weak that he couldn't even walk, but then suddenly became mad. By the time his rampage ended, two were dead. I think we shouldn't drink that dark liquid. Dio Alberato has also passed through, though he fought until the very end. The only thing I can do now is honor the bodies and pray that their souls find peace. Oh Lord, why do you test us so? Oh my god. So that person, Alberato, had drank that black liquid. So in other words, one of these Zealots just made Ashley drink that black liquid too. And she lost her jacket, to, uh, literally. And also, we pick up this elegant crown from the corpse, well, next to the corpse, and kick that stone wall that's totally cracked. And so that means we're going to do a tight squeeze in there and pick up this yellow herb. Seriously, my items are getting too full. What am I ever going to do to make room for it? Seriously. Yeah, we're going to climb up that ladder. Oh my god. Oh, give me a break. Is he coughing? I bet you he's hallucinating. He probably is. He gotta kill some rats. Oh, that's a double kill. No, you don't have to kill the rats here. Just don't worry about them. No, I don't need that red herb. Because my stuff's full. But I do need is... A red barrel after destroying that treasure case coming from the ceiling. So yeah. There are flying bats in there. Feels like we're in a dungeon. Or we're in a sewer. That's for sure. I have something else. But first of all, I am going to combine this elegant crown with gemstones. As you get that challenge done, all you need is three pink barrels and two yellow diamonds. So that it gives you 108,000 pesetas. I think you look welcome. <laughs> Enough for most, at least. If I upgraded all of those, it, it'll, it'll give you exclusive. This increases the critical hit rate by five times, and it costs, and it's very expensive. And you're gonna need exclusive ticket as well. So use that. Uh, probably not. Anyways, all we get is TMP stock, Red 9 stock, in attached case. You know what? I actually don't need those right now. So from now on, I am going to carry on to the laboratory and read this note. Emergency liquid nitrogen showers requested by Isidro Uriarte Talavera. Date of installation November 2, 2002. Installation of the liquid nitrogen showers that were requested last month has been completed. Caution. Liquid nitrogen is an extremely hazardous substance. Exposure may cause blindness, frostbite, and even death. Handle with care. Those liquid, liquid nitrogens can freeze people. Yeah, you don't want to press those yet until we get to a boss battle. Chronicles of Pursuit 3, May, nine years since my awakening. Upon the release of this valve, black liquid shall enter my veins and circulate throughout my entire body. I expect this will be the most painful experience of my life. I await the trial with great anticipation. It is an honor to suffer through the holy labor of rebirth. The next time I awaken, it will be as a true servant of Master Ramon. I, Isidro Uriarte Talavera, make this vow. I will surpass the limitation of man and become a true servant of God. I will find the heretics and serve as their executioner, their vertigo. So the henchman is vertigo. The right hand man that uh, Salazar was talking about. 
I remember in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4, Leon just joked uh, Salazar by saying, your right hand comes off. <laughs> and he's like, say whatever you will. Die, you worm. These people are not right. You're right, Leon. These Ganados aren't even right. They just killed that guy. Notice about power supply. Out of service appliances. To conserve electricity, the power has been turned off with some equipment, including the elevator. It can be restored by flipping the circuit breaker located at the very back of the laboratory. Oh, in the back of the laboratory, there's a circuit breaker. So that means we got to go over there and turn it on. Something wrong with the power? Yes, something is wrong with the power. I betcha Sadler turned it off. Or Salazar. Right? <laughs> Holy crap. What's with those red glowing eyes in first person mode? I can't even tell if that was Salazar's right hand man or not. But I bet you it is. Gates shut, so that means we're gonna enter in there and pull down that lever. That gate from behind you is not opened yet. Oh god! When you see a, a tail, oh, me. you have to press to evade. Because if you don't evade, it'll shave your health off. And this time it's on the ceiling, so dodge. First the floor, then the ceiling. That guy's pretty good at ambushing you, Leon. Actually, I'm gonna have to uh, craft my magnum ammo for now. Literally. And if I didn't get the red barrel, I, there's no going back. So I, but I got the red barrel anyway. And once we turn on the circuits, Power is totally restored. And we got a boss fight. I knew it! You. You're okay, this battle is going to be very annoying. He's going to run up to you and attack you with his tail, and he's going to use his claws to hit you. Yeah, his claws can totally shave off your health. Normal bullets, bullets are not effective against him because of his hardened skin. You know, he reminds me of the Predator. A Predator. Boy, alien. Or an alien. He looks weird. Ow! He's got a big fuck you tail attack. Okay, turn on this liquid nitrogen chalice to freeze him. <laughs> you gotta shut up, Leon. Yeah, I know Frozen is a good look for him. But yeah, you gotta turn on the liquid nitrogen only when the the vertigo is standing on the on the tubes, and be careful of him. Hey, look, the elevator is going up. While the elevator is going up all the way, we are gonna have to kick his ass. Make sure that there's a uh, oh god. That hurt! Should have seen that coming. What's your next move? Yes, he's gonna come out of the, the sewer hole so that he can come up and attack me. Yeah, hide and seek. Good one, Leon. Watch out. Yeah, he does need to chill out. Yeah, it does hit different. Regardless, when the power is on, that means the door is totally opened. And unfortunately, he is pretty much fast. Gotta make sure I parry. Damn it, I missed! 
<laughs> Gotta pay more attention. I can't believe he dodged that. Stupid scallywag punk. Better make sure. Okay, when he pins you to the ground, he's gonna attack you with his tail. So watch out. Because it's gonna get even more annoying. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's shaving my health off pretty greatly. I cannot believe he would do that to me. And yet, I'm getting more gunpowder right now. And once again, we're in here. Come on. What is your next freaking move? Stand still, idiot. I said stand still, you idiot. What part of stand still don't you understand, huh? You know what? Yeah, bullets don't have a effect. Yeah, I know. Just call it a son of a bitch, Leon. But... <laughs> I don't like that line. That's the way. Now finish him off. Finally, some peace and quiet. My condolences to your master. By defeating Vertigo, we get ourselves a gold monocle. And yeah, good thing we've defeated him. Goodbye, Mr. Vertigo. You know that name kind of sounds familiar. One Piece. Like Vertigo, the guy with a bamboo stick, and he has hockey power. He was working for Caesar or Doflamingo. And we open up that chest to get Yellow Diamond. Do not forget it, folks. Don't forget it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he just shattered the beast, this man. Literally. But, you know. I'll get the boot knife. Let's see if there's any stuff here. Ah, nothing. Don't worry about that. I don't really care. I'm going to lay some gemstones from now on. In the elevator now. And enjoy this cutscene. Wow, who is this mysterious guy with that knife that Sadler just hired? And we ran into Luis now. So, let's go on to chapter 11, ladies and gentlemen. news 
All we've done is buy you some time. Suppressants effects will wear off all too soon. You ready to go? Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, we know what we have to do. Then come, Sancho Panta. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You can hurt yourself. <laughs> hey, that was my dance. Okay, hurry, I get it. Why help me, though? What's in it for you? No need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you, didn't I? Wow. Anyway, folks, welcome to chapter 11. And kind of like that line. And also, we got ourselves a shooting range gallery. I like this cutscene. Then come, Sancho Panza. We'll rescue Princess Josina. And he dropped that that iron pipe. He was, hey, that was my lance. <laughs> but yeah. Let's try this 1B. First. Yeah, I don't know if I could ever try getting all this S right thing. I honestly don't know. Very good. That was dirty. You actually gotta aim for the heads when those pirates are on the barrel. <laughs> You have to do a double kill on those pirates. And Blackbeard. Come on. Don't shoot the admirals. Well, uh, the sailors. What another way to go, Leon. Definitely the most tricky part. No, literally, it is pretty tricky. I'm gonna do it one more time. Come on, aim for the freaking head. I'm, I'm much obliged, buddy. Whatever. I don't give it. I don't get it, crud. But you know, they're so you don't. Just get him in the gut. And reload, please, Leon. Yeah, you gotta watch how many ammo you got. Come on. Oh, fudge. Maybe I'll do another one this time. His 3A. Three, two, one. Because I'm just getting started. And this time we got pink pirates. Yeah, there's gonna be pink pirates hanging around. Oops. You're supposed to shoot the freaking dynamite, idiot. What's wrong with you? That's the stuff. Yeah, when you shoot that dynamite, you can also shoot the skull token. You know? Gotta keep trying, folks. Yeah, you definitely do not want to shoot that dynamite because it'll destroy the sailors. You're an artist, mate. Beautiful. Ha ha. How beautiful. Yeah, you do need to shoot those parrots. And yes, the last dynamite pirate will get faster. 
Come on, man. Come on, man. Shoot that stupid pirate. Darn. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. Now I can try, uh, let's see here. Punisher. Three, two, one, That's the gun you get after doing the, uh... Look at this guy. Wow. After doing the blue medallion into the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4. But, you know. Yeah, they do get faster and more harder. And yes, the background opens. This guy gives you a double kill. Whoa! And please don't shoot those sailors. And we just got an A rank. Whatever. But whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't care. Maybe if I could use my shotgun? When there's three in a row, so that means... I can... Why do these pirates have to be this fast? I mean, I don't actually get it, seriously. Oh, come on. Make sure you hit the center. You actually gotta hit the center so that... Oops! That's another way to go, Leon. Another friggin' way to go. Just a friggin' miss. Why are they this fast? Oh, crap. Come on! That was too close. Come on. Don't screw up, Leon. Oh, no! Dang, I got a B rank for, for Bonehead. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Three, two, one. Begin. Kill. Isn't it so annoying how you don't shoot those skull coins? And these sailors are interfering? Oops. <laughs> Don't do that. There's no rush. Rush equals messing up. Oh, whatever. Eh, at least I got a gold token, but regardless. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're going to put three gold tokens in there. So that gives you... Leon with the handgun. Wow, Leon's definitely my favorite. Don Esteban. Ashley Graham, epic. Yeah. <laughs> And a Z-Lot with a scythe. All right, all right. Hopefully my frames didn't drop. Louis, don't call me cowboy. That's, I'm not a cowboy man. Let's see if there's anything new. What we get is a heavy grenade recipe. And we got striker, stingray, and ray gun, and blacktail. And also small resources. <sighs> but apparently I need to repair my knife. Good luck to you, stranger. And my that armor. Oh. Got a pleasant of course we read this diary. Well, a log actually. Foreman's log. Date, October 11th. Today was the worst day of my life. It is my daughter's fifth birthday, but here I am stuck on a mangy boat heading out to some backcountry dump. 
If it weren't for the pay, no one would be willing to work out in the middle of nowhere. Date, October 19. Those in the castle are always reminding us to take care during the excavation, but a few workers collapsed after inhaling some dust. There's something going on here that they're not telling us. There are too many secrets. I've started coughing too. I should sleep. Date, October 26. Something's really wrong with me. I threw up m blood three, mo or three more times today, and I'm so weak. I can barely move. Shit, I never should have come here. I came for the money, but instead I am the one paying the price. I'm a terrible father. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You deserve better. Date, October. Sid's morning, head don't work. Why? More blood threw up, many insects crawling. I hear a voice. Date, a fine day to work. Taking brings me so much joy. I am full of happiness. I offer it all to you. Everything for you, Lord Siler. Wow. But anyway, we're gonna climb up. To the tracks. So Umbrella was done for, huh? So Umbrella was fully destroyed in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. But yeah. Anyway folks, we're inside of the mines, which leads up there to the dead end. Hey, since when was this a dead end? This used to lead to the exit. Yeah, I can tell. Explosive storage notice. The dynamite has been relocated to the M4 storeroom. When using explosives, cave-ins are a frequent occurrence. Keep your distance from the blast zone. In the event of a disaster, clean up immediately. Ensure adequate numbers of staff are on site. Anyway, we are heading to the M4 area. As a matter of fact, we're going to reload our rifle. And, oh god, no, not these Ganado villagers again. Kill them. These guys. Oh, this is where they're building up the Plaga Queen. These fossilized uh, parasites that I that was in Resident Evil 4, 2005. Uh, basically, kill that annoying Ganado torch dude. Dude needs to shut up. Oh god. Yeah, Louis is gonna shoot. For you. Come on. Ah, uh, no. This blocks. But anyway, let's vault over and deal with these annoying villagers. Oh god, not the big big chainsaw guy again. It's him. It's the fuck you chainsaw guy. Gracias, Luis. Oh god. Yeah, chainsaws are definitely no joke, because they can kill you instantly. Yeah, good thing I used my revolver. <laughs> Close your eyes. Gotta love that line. No, 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 not the dynamite like, punks again. Whoa! Good gravy! Oh my god! I should have should have known there was a dynamite over here. I mean, come on! Go away! <laughs> I am good. Yeah. 
God, I love that line for the game. But, you know. I'm on. Ow! Boom. But anyway, uh, get this green herb right now and combine it with the... We don't have a red herb, so that's a no. I seriously need to get, like, five more gunpowder. We gotta lower the bridge right now. But you know what? I'll go down there and you deal with these Ganados, Luis. Got it? Oh god, we gotta shove the heavy grenade. Stop with the- oh, come on. Just- Stop it! Seriously! Oh. Let's see here. Okay. You know what? Let's just use more bolts. How about that? Unlock that door. It, please, for the love of God, enough with the. Well, enough with the picking up the grenade because your stuff is totally full, Leon. And shoot this case, which leads to a blocked path so that you can get the sapphire. Sapphire is one of my favorite gems. No, seriously, it is my favorite gem. Seriously? Oh, sh I should have used my gun. You stupid dynamite dorks. In there, we're going to pick up this uh, golden hourglass. Alright, we pick up this dynamite. Dynamite! You got this. Oh, wow. Good joke. <laughs> you know, when I said dynamite, it also reminded me of this show that, that I heard. The show called Good Times. Everybody watched Good Times? It was a long time ago, but you know. Anyways, since we picked up that dynamite, why don't we take this thing to the dead end? And when it explodes, there's going to be bull boulder coming by to kill you instantly. Watch out. Get to a safe place before these boulders crush you. It's like a shitload of boulders. Coming by after the explosion. You handled yourself pretty well. You sure you're just a researcher? I'm just an average guy who happens to be like the ladies' man. Wow. Luis appears to be quite the ladies' man. <laughs> I'm also a ladies' man as well, you know? And so is Leon. Oh, God. Now you owe me. Please, heads up. Now we're even. Is it always like 
this with you. All right, folks, we got two gigantes that we got to fight. That's right. The armored gigante is going to be a real annoying punk. Yeah, the, his armor is definitely bulletproof. So, actually, I don't have enough magnum ammo. You can also dunk these two in the lava. I remember in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4, when one gigante gets dunked into the lava, they're gonna take Leon with him, which is kinda messed up, you know? So, I fought this gigante last time, and it was really crazy. But this time we got no dog here to save me. Now we got a plaga on his upper back. Come on, is right. Come on, you idiot. When he's down for the count, aim for that plaga on the back. Keep shooting him till he's dead. Yeah, if you dunk these two in the lava, you will not get gems. But if you kill them without dunking them in the lava, you get gems. You get two gems. Because he's bulletproof, Leon. That's what he is. And unfortunately, Luis will have to... I'm gonna have to get some more ammo. Where's Luis going? And he just kicked me. Well, literally, he did. And my frame just dropped. Oh, God. Come on. We gotta lure that freak here. And Luis just got a pack of dynamite. When he jumps over, make sure you press the press to evade. Lure that armor gigante here so that Luis can jump on him and put dynamite on his upper back. What are you doing? Hurry up! Yeah, Luis is gonna be mad. Now's my chance to shoot that dynamite. Ooh, yeah. Now, goodbye, uh, Gigantes. That was the guy that I fought in the last chapter, Chapter 8. And by defeating him, we get Red Barrel. Good riddance. We gotta give Luis a boost so that he can unlock the door from the other side for us. How's it look? There. It's open. He opened it for us. So those are the Ambers that Ada and and who is this mysterious voice that that I hear? They were talking about the Amber that these Plagas were using. Why are they using Amber? And what does Ada want with the Amber? Seriously. You and here we got a minecart. Do you see any other way? Okay, Luis goes first, then I go last. Stupid skull. Give us a push, Sancho. Who are you calling Sancho? <laughs> there, it's moving. This should speed things up a bit. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey, we're in a hurry, right? Oh, by the way. What now? Hope you like thrill rides. Oh god. 
This is a minecart area. When you see sparks on the right, move left. And when you see sparks on the left, move right. When you see boards, definitely shoot them. Wow. If you don't shoot those switches, if you don't switch tracks, you're gonna run into a dead end and you're gonna die instantly. And we gotta deal with these Ganados on the other mine carts. They're gonna be firing in fire arrows at you just to shave off the mine cart's health. Because if this mine cart's health meter reaches zero, you die. Yeah, shoot those boards. Well, if if Leon does not balance that cart, you're gonna die instantly. And if you run into run into dead ends, instant death. Well, it's kind of funny, you know. Funny death animation, regardless. Now we got more of these Ganados holding arrows. Do not run into fuel barrels, because you can die instantly. But you get what I'm saying, right? Come on, aim for the dynamite, dude. Seriously. Okay, definitely shoot the fuel barrel and the switch. Don't go in the dead end, guys. That's dangerous. Booyah! At least we didn't take any damage. This it? Great not. Things are just getting started. Things are just getting started is what I had to agree with, Louis. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, head into this fortress to fight off more of these Ganado losers. Watch out for that dynamite punk. Hey, Louis, you okay, buddy? And come on. Shoot the dynamite, Leon. There we go. That's the way. And he gets ripped in half after that explosion. But you know. You know this minecart level kind of reminded me of Donkey Kong Country. Where Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong had to run on the minecarts. Alright, you know. And we got ourselves a flag on after opening up the red chest. Basically, we got to craft our green herbs with the uh, pink herbs. Now we're going to do the minecart one more time. But first, destroy that barrel. Hop on, Luis. Hop on, man. All right, Let's go. Uh, All right folks. This is the last time we're going to ride on those minecarts. You better tilt right or left. But if it goes, on, if the spark goes on the left, tilt right. Oh, God. If the cart tips over all the way, you die instantaneously. Whoa! Oh god, not that chainsaw dude again! Oh god, I hate chainsaw guys. Come on! Ow, I just took a hit. <laughs> and we shoot this dynamite punk. Okay. Shoot the board. Because if you run over the boards, it'll shave your health off. Whoa. So, I remember this minecart 
in Resident Evil 4 2005 where you have to deal with these Ganados and Chainsaw Dudes. And you also have gotta use your quick time event by jumping. By jumping over the bottomless pit. And we gotta deal with Mr. Dr. Salvador. The, oh, the Chainsaw Man, also known as Dr. Salvador. Come on! And that chainsaw guy hits you, you're toast. And we got more Ganado idiots. Why is my... Why is the cursor not going well? He's still alive? End of the line, asshole! Take that, chainsaw man. Take that. That's the last time we see this chainsaw guy. And we're gonna shoot that that track switch. Oh god. For a moment there I thought it was gonna crash. But I didn't. But I didn't anyway. Big hive! That's where they dug up the bugs? Oh god. Alright folks, since we're in the middle of the mines where there's a hive, we gotta shoot down the entrances. Cause that's where these annoying Navisadors lead. And Louis just broke the mine car the mine lever. He literally just broke it on accident. And he chuckled nervously. <laughs> And aim for the entrance. Come on, kill that entrance. There we go. We'll go for the last entrance in the other area. Or it's break. Give me a break. We can make it if we circle around. Come on. Pain in my ass. <laughs> Pain in my ass. I love that line. I mean, folks, literally I do. Uh, <laughs> the final treasure is located... Let's see how many treasures did I get. We got 33. Let's see what else do we have. Ah, nothing else. Just a secret treasure over there. We just got two treasures. Well, three in the mine area. But unfortunately, we gotta deal with these annoying camouflage Mephistodors coming over by just so that they could kill me. Usually, these guys drop the sadists and gems. And we read this note Insect Hive. Too many have lost their lives to the never ending swarm of insects. It's a plague. Please destroy the entrances in their gigantic hive and save us from further tragedy. And a yellow herb, so that I can heal. Yeah, of course, it's all me. I just got hit after, and I, and I, I just got hit at the same time. Oh my god. And we got more of these sapphires. And why won't you just leave me alone already, you stupid... Annoying bug. 
You know, the more I fight them, the more they continue to swarm. Well, jump out of their entrances. More or less. And we go inside of this plank cavern. I wonder what you would do in a mine. I'm not the- we're both the brains, Luis, and I'm not the brawn, you know? <laughs> yeah, these Novistadors do climb on walls. Definitely pay attention to those. What are they, lizards? And we got another sapphire. Double sapphire. Booyah. And also, let's see if there's a, a friggin... Yes, there's a friggin uh, hive entrance. So that means we gotta reload first and aim at it. This is just like popping a pimple, you know? I would agree. Mission accomplished is right. But you know, that punk insect. Why do they turn brown? Acting like it's a mud. These guys are worse than bees. But you know, we, when we destroy the fuel barrel, the rocks break. Which leads to a secret area so that I could get the gold bar the large gold bar, that is. Uh, we should go talk to the Virgin and tell them the good news. Come on. Yikes. Why in the heck would would Salazar be making bugs? Yeah, inside that small hole, we duck under there. So, that's a request done and <laughs> so that I can talk I to the merchant. And Insect Hive is totally done, do? folks. That's good work, if I do say so myself. Oh, God. Fortunately, I need to sell those two black bases. Ruby's all rubbish. She makes no difference. So the gold bar, gold, and the orange necklace. Golden hourglass and the gold bar. All right then. A deal well struck. <laughs> Man, I love his laugh. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. There you are, as you wished. We're starting to get an idea. Pleasant travel. Now we can go and head to the lift. But unfortunately, you know, just don't worry about the bug. I don't care. Get inside the lift. He works for the Illuminados. Well, he used to. But yeah. Where of that hell? Fresh air is calling our names. Or Finn. Gus. 
made it all this way. You know it means we're almost... Almost what? Oh my god. We got a boss battle, folks. It's Major Krauser. We yeah. are just getting started. Yeah, he's gonna be annoying. We're gonna use knives only. Are you being controlled by that cult? This is nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Yeah, he's gonna throw knives at you and slash you. If he pinch you to the ground, you gotta mash to break free. Good way to parry. Yeah, when he's done, melee him. Why would you work for these freaks? Why? Have you forgotten what happened two years ago? Operation Javier. So the Operation Javier was from uh, oper from uh, Dark Side Chronicles. But yeah. When he grabs your hands, you need to break free. If he pushes you off the ledge, when you're holding on the ledge, he's gonna stomp on your hands. Because if you don't break free, he's gonna push you to the pit, which he calls his instant death. So he became infected bef before the Lucy Illuminados. Well, after the Lucy. Well, after the Javier incident. Yeah, Krauser's really strong, but first of all, I've got, I just gotta heal. I mean, Leon was a, was, has a partner like Krauser before the, opera, on the Operation Javier, and before the Lucy Illuminados, he, he was human, but he died in a plane crash. Until then, he was reborn once again by Krauser, just so that he could kill Leon. And he was after Ashley, that's for sure. Keep on knifing him. Yeah, he's gonna hop. He's gonna keep on jumping. He just stabbed Louis in the back! What? And he took the amber from him. There, 
and remove those damn parasites. Help, Ashley. Louis is dead after getting his key so that we could remove those parasites. Yeah, he died. And he, does he have a lighter that says Umbrella Corporation? Seriously, did he get that? When did he buy it? Seriously. So, in the Operation Javier, I did not notice that Javier has a daughter named Manuela. But... Yeah, Leon and Krauser were saving his life until Wesker did see him. But yeah, that is the end of chapter 11, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving on to chapter 12 from now on. You won't get away with this, Krauser. Yeah. We're in chapter 12, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I remember in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4, Louise was killed by Sadler. But in this one, he was killed by Krauser. Good lord. Now we're entering this lift, and we get another, another phone call. After all, I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. Now it's time for us to head to the clock tower. But before we head to the clock tower, uh, we're going to open up that case so we can get the final small key. And also, we got two blue notes. Jewel thief, someone help me recover a stolen jewel snatched by a thieving crow. I bet it can be found in the vile thing's nest. It's an heirloom of our family and cannot become some bird's plaything. This, this, we got, all we gotta do is sell a scratched emerald. How does a crow scratch an emerald? Is this area is located in the courtyard. And also we got another one. Disgrace of the Salazar family, the detestable Ramon Salazar. Even the very sight of this image makes my skin crawl. Do me a service and find a, some way to deface the portrait of him in this sh room shown in the photograph, will you? I'm not particular about how you do it. Hitting it with something might do the trick. Yeah, but you know, over, I suppose. you know what we gotta do. Let's see here. I'm gonna put this. We're gonna lay some gemstones with a flag on. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale. A deal well struck. <laughs> yeah. Come back anytime. We're not gonna go in this thing right now until we finish our two jobs. Right now we should probably go do the scratched emerald first. I mean, yeah, I have to mention this to you, Krauser is by the way voiced by Mike Kovic in this one. But in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4, he was voiced by Jim Ward. Yeah, Jim Ward provided the voice for uh, Captain Quark from Ratchet and Clank. And, uh, yeah. 
Jim Ward did a very great job doing, let's see here, who did he do? Doctor from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jim Ward was in most video games. And in cartoons. Of course, we're going to have to go to the courtyard and shoot down that nest so that we could get the emerald. The scratched emerald, that is. Booyah! Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do either. Now we're going to have to head upstairs by that uh, courtyard. I remember the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4 where uh, Salazar just... Just check the phone. Literally. Who, would in, the, who in the world would ever do such a thing? Seriously. Well, he hijacked the phone. But, you know. Anyway, now that we got that small key, we are going to head to the final drawer. So use it. And open it up to get the second one of Beetle. Booyah! <sighs> we need to head back, okay? We gotta head to the throne room. That's where Salazar was located. In that vertigo just dropped me on into that big hole which leads to the to the depths where they're so full of spikes. I remember in the 2005 version, he was in the depths because if he didn't use the perfect timing event, if he didn't press it correctly, he would be totally impaled. Well, he had to use that grappling hook out of his belt. And he, sh and he shot that thing and he got real mad. He's like, kill him, kill him. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying, folks, you know. Anywho, now that that's out of our way, folks, we are going to go over to the throne room and do what we have to do. And yet, once we head back to the ballroom, we got to fight more annoying the Vista doors. I knew it. I knew they'd come. Go away! We just destroyed your hives! What the heck is up with you anyway? Oh god. Seriously? No, don't you dare spit acid on my face, buddy! Now we got another sapphire. Sometimes these guys die in one hit. And another sapphire, that's great. Anywho, folks, uh, once we head into this area, the antechamber, that's where I fought these uh, Garadors, last chapter 10. We're going to fight all these annoying Las Plagas C. Oh, those guys again? Yeah, these guys are going to chase you. And that, yes, they got... Uh, they're kind of annoying. Uh, why are these guys going out of control? Seriously. I am going to be using some flashbang grenades on those lousy scumbags. That's the way. Too bad. My knife's about to break.
Well, at least that's a good thing we got some potatoes here. More rifle ammo. Now I can reload. Patchable mines. Wow. In this throne room, there's so many crimson flames. Chronicles of Pursuit. October, eight years since my awakening. At last, my noble pursuit progresses to its final stage. The, the fusion of human and insect. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pull my whole heart into its endeavor in order to transcend humanity and make Master Grimoon proud. March, nine years since my awakening. A glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not for naught. Behold, the fruits of our labor and all its beauty. I shall consecrate this perfect life form with the name U3, for U3 is the most beautiful and complete number. April, nine years since my awakening. U3, my dear hound, Pesantes has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Remun. But what is two not better than one? Now it's my turn to demonstrate my loyalty. This humble servant, Isidro Uriarte Talavera. Okay. But, if there's anything else, what we got is some bases that we can gotta destroy. Wow, we're destroying the Salazar property! Oh, wow! Beyond you vandal! And yes, we got another book. Ramon's Confession. My lord, my true benevolent father, bless the Salazar bloodline with an iron hammer. The founder of my family proclaimed the holy teachings of Los Illuminados as evil and persecuted its followers. Not only that, he stole their most prized possession and sealed it below the castle. Blasphemy, insolence, how long have I suffered the shame of knowing that the same blood flows through my veins? Finally, the day of atonement has come. Oh, by my beloved Lord Salazar, I shall release the holy plagues that were hidden under the castle. The time is now. With divine grace, the wicked shall be reborn as a part of the flock, reborn as Ganado. They shall be my lord's loyal servants. Nothing would please me more than to sit at my lord's feet and bask in your splendor. I am your humble servant. You are my eternal light. To you, I swear my unwavering allegiance. Oh, wow, that's a lot of notes. And there's three of them. There's another one. Housekeeper Memo 2. Oh, Master Ramun, with tomorrow's procedure I shall finally surpass the limitations of this mortal shell. What's left of me now shall soon be gone. Magnificent. The holy body is a wondrous miracle. The fealty I swore to Master Ramon is the soul's light that illuminates my path. Our fate shall be entwindled until the very day end. Have you ever known such loyalty? Anyway, we're going to use this cubic one final time. Once, once that's done, we get a golden chicken egg. And yet, we got chicken. Two chickens here. Since when did Salazar ever get chickens? Hope he lays one egg for me. And look, what's this one for? Just to sit here and relax? Wow. <laughs> There's no time for resting. No time to rest, Leon. Just do what you have to do. Come on, why aren't you laying the friggin' eggs? Lay the egg, you stupid chickens. Actually, you know what? Actually, we're going to use the uh, golden chicken egg just so we could egg Salazar's painting. Don't use it. Throw it. Bam! That should do it. I don't need those chickens to lay their eggs. I'll just use the, ch the golden egg anyway. Yeah, sometimes you can sell it, sometimes you can't. But, yeah. You know that gold egg kind of reminds me of Jack and the Beanstalk. That's where Jack finds the, the big goose so that it could lay one golden egg. 
well, two golden eggs for the orphanage. You know? Betcha of gold is worth a lot of money. Now we can check one more time. Anyways, there are five gems in the clock tower. Well, five treasures there. So in other words, we are going to head to the clock tower. Let's deal with this annoying Navistador over there. Oh, thought there was a Navistador there, but whatever. <laughs> Anyway, folks, let's go give the merchant the good news. Oh, I see you took care of a request. <laughs> nice work. Ooh, and we gotta sell the scratch down rope. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. True. Very true. Molding of we're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Well done. You've proven yourself reliable. Well, Are there anything new? All we get is gold token worth three spindles. We like our herbs, we do. Don't get yourself killed now. I'm gonna customize the case. So that I can equip Leon on the right. That gives me a 30% off knife repairs. You know, you can actually get more than one charm. Are the same thing, regardless. Let's get inside of this cable car. This looks like a horse carriage. There's the clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. So that's the clock tower. All right, we are going to be rescuing Ashley. Oh God. Oh god. Now we ran into Salazar again, and he summons zealots just so that they could deal with me. And in the back we get another gold bar. And furthermore, we gotta kill those annoying Ganados. Well, this zealot carries another torch as well. Oh, not those shield dudes again. Come on. Sorry, must have slipped. Just shut up. Get your hands off of me. Alright. And look, that's the Salazar statue. Oh my god. In the 2005 version, I had to run away from that. Salazar statue that that was chasing me. Yeah, if, if that Salazar statue touches Leon, that will count as instant death. Definitely watch out. I remember that one. This block passage is located on the stairs, and also on the roof we get Alexandrite. Booyah! Oh, and uh, also, I think I heard ominous chanting. I gotta kill that punk. Is there a grenade I can use? Have a present, punk. Take that. 
Does that work? Anyway, we get over there. That Salazar statue breathes fire, and it's going to be very annoying. Yeah, that fire can totally shave off your health. That hurt! Should have seen that coming. Don't they look like Grim Reapers? You're shaving my health off, idiot! Leave me alone! Wait for the flame to go away. Oh no. Yay. That flamethrower will definitely cook Leon. I advise you to watch out for that giant fire. I bet you Natsu would eat fire. Because he's a flame wizard. You know, Natsu from Fairy Tale, he has the ability to breathe fire. And he's got a fire spell. Yeah, he's also known as Salamander. Not to drag Neo from Fairy Tale, that show that I watched on 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 my phone. But yeah. Oh my God! I'm getting burned, and I'm getting close to dying. So I gotta use my first friggin' aid spray. That part's totally tricky. And he just killed those Ganados like it was nobody's business. Oh my God. Oh, what the heck? Gotcha. Uh-oh. There's a spike ball. If Leon gets hit by that spike ball, that's gonna count as an instantaneous death. And no, no matter how much health you got, you're gonna die instantly from that thing. Get off me! And there goes my knife. Definitely watch out for that spike iron ball. And the stupid mace that he keeps on using. God, I love this game so much. <laughs> and deal with this archer. Darn it. Come on, hurry up before you get crushed like a bug, Leon. Finish him off. That's the way to do it. When we pull this lever down, we use the iron ball to kill five of these Ganados. And, and the challenge is called Strike. All you gotta do is, is have the iron ball hit five Ganados at once. One, two, three. Well, that wasn't even enough. But there's still one of them still surviving. Now kill them. Wow. I don't like the sound of the scream. <laughs> and good thing you destroyed the dead end. But anywho, folks, uh, this treasure is located on that on the wooden platforms. So walk over there and open up that red treasure chest. Green herb, mirror with pearls and rubies. You have another one of those. So that's nice. I'm gonna check one more time. Oh, we got 39 right now. But you know, I'm gonna use my magnum ammo by crafting it. Literally. Well, literally, I have to do it without a choice. 
Because later I'm going to be saving my rifle. I'm going to save my rifle for later. And then on the left corner we pick up this extravagant clock. Got another one of those. And yes, we're going to be doing a lift. Which is going to be pretty annoying. Yeah, the challenge will be a real pain. And so that would mean we got to make sure we don't have any... Any enemies jumping in there. Don't worry about those archers. Apparently these guys don't know when to stop. Yeah, these Ganados like to mess with you. Way to be on the lift, you idiot. Yeah, if I made it without having these enemies jump on a lift, I might, I might complete that challenge. But it doesn't matter. Why is he shirtless? Where are you? Oh, not another one of those guys again. Really? There were two red zealots to deal with? Oh, go away. Those guys give me a really bad headache. I hate them. I hit him with a passion. Yeah, it took me two hits to kill him. The love of God, get your hands off me, dude. Why is he climbing on that ladder and he just got me from behind? What a nice way to go, punk. I wonder why Leon was so mad when one of these cell these Ganado zealots jumped onto the lift. <sighs> but okay. Should I check? Yeah, I got an herb, but boot knife and two first aid spray. Razor sight. I gotta even lay some gems right now. Okay, one more to go. And that should just about do it, folks. Wow, we're outside of the clock tower. Good gravy. And let's see if I can combine. Darn it, I need 10 more. I need 10 of these freaking gunpowder. Alright folks, we have to go after Ashley right now. Wow, that's way that was too too high. Unfortunately we don't have a choice but to kill those archers. There's going to be some fragile wooden planks coming there. Yeah, if you ever run or stay there for too long, the plank will break and you're going to fall to your death. Doesn't matter how much health you got. You will die instantly, so be careful. 
Walk slowly. Don't sprint. It's dangerous. And once again, I am going to use the attach mine. I'm going to attach my mines and place them here. I'll place them over here so that more enemies will come by. Probably later. No, don't run, Leon. Don't run. Well, they're explosive. They're very explosive, so be careful. All right, let's climb up this ladder. And on the balcony, we destroy the barrels to get more items. Wow, can't believe another enemy just exploded. And we get this yellow herb so that I can combine my mixed herbs right here. And yeah, I need to repair my knife from now on. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty easy work. Good as new. Starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Okay. Anything else I can help you with? Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed. Actually, Welcome. I'm gonna trade for some treasures. <laughs> Good instinct, stranger. An interesting choice. Oh, I mean it in a good way. Of course. Come. Now I can lay some gems. And another one. Now I can well, sell it again. What can I interest you in? Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Hang on. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Alrighty then. We're gonna head over there to the big door. Or whatever it leads to. I think Salazar. By the way, we are going to face Salazar once and for all. I know it's going to be a lot different than the one in 2005. So let's go. And so, I have delivered the girl to you as promised. Do tell our Lord, do not forget. The loyalty of his servant, Ramon. <laughs> Ashley! Leon! Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. To have been bestowed with Lord Sadler. You talk too much. You failed! <laughs> you vulgar! Utterly uncivilized! Ah! Oh, grow! Oh god, he's transformed, and it's boss battle time. Oh god, battle's gonna be very annoying, folks. He's gonna spit acid, well, uh, black liquid at you just to get your health shaven off. 
And uh, yeah, he has a bite attack that will result in killing you instantly. So watch out. No matter how much health you got, be careful. Whoa, watch out for those bombs that he spits out. He looks a lot different, literally. When he gets close to you, watch out for the bite attack! Ow! <laughs> you danced the Bolero Super V. Oh wow. Shut up! My name's not Pogacito, and when he's down, use your knife to hit him in the eye of his brain. Watch your language. What will others think of you? <laughs> Stop spinning in black liquid at me. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You just had to tackle me like an idiot you are. In the moon? Yeah, he's getting on my nerves. Now he's very pissed off, literally. Did he just puke acid at me? What's so funny? My name's not Kogasito, it's Leon. <laughs> bastard! Trouble the bastard! Man, I love that line. Oh god, no! That was my chance to finish that punk off. No, he's gonna need a new I'll kill you. Oh wow, I love his rage. By the way, Salazar is one of my favorite boss battles in the game. Hey, watch your language. Yeah, yeah. I won't allow it either. Goodbye, Salazar. Huh. That was intense. By defeating by defeating Ramon Salazar, we get ourselves a lip rouge. That's a treasure. I'll probably keep it anyway. Has Seriously, what in the world has Salazar been using? Has he been using makeup just to make himself look weird? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Goodbye, Salazar. And this is the last time we'll be heading... We'll be at the castle. No time to lose. Yeah, that's the last time we're going to go to that castle, folks. I kind of enjoy this fight. If everybody in the comments below uh, thinks how awesome this boss fight is, please let me know if you like this boss. I would say it was my favorite too. Leon, Krauser is taking her to the island. We gotta go after him. Seriously. Anyway, folks, uh, this lift leads to the uh, castle inside. It kind of looks like a castle. But where are we? 
storage room. Which, what does it lead to? Oh, wow, rat. Where's that friggin' rat? Come on, don't distract me. I gotta kill that friggin' rat. I hate rats. Come on, come back here so I can kill you. Oh, great. I hate rats. They're nasty vermins. And we got a little note here. Housekeeper memo number one. I have failed you, my lord. I was unable to fulfill your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramoon's evil temperament during his younger years. When he discovered a servant mocked by him ordering Bogracito behind his back, he summoned her to his private chamber. After forcing her to kneel before him, Ramoon doused her face with a vial of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched his glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. As time passed, Ramon treachery only deepened and that infernal cult soon learned that they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiend. They manipulated Master Ramon and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they managed to use him to unleash less plagues that the Salazar family has fought so long and hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured, I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end, whatever fate may befall us. As a faithful servant of the Salazar family since birth, it is my duty and my penance to you. After reading that, let's kill two rats at once. Ha! Double kill! Booyah! So, uh, yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. <laughs> this leads to the jet boat. Now we're gonna ride on it. Ah, damn it. Looking for something? Wow. Ada has the key to the jet boat. Oh my god. I mean, seriously, that was a crazy chapter. And this is the end of chapter 12, folks. So for now, let's come back for part 5, where we're going to be doing the next chapter of chapter 13. So, see you then.